sniper. Well, 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 the sniper. Like him or hate him, he does a lot in the battlefield, being able to get those essential picks and helping your team get to victory. But some people think that sniper is just a little too overpowered. And the most common thing said is that sniper doesn't really have many counters other than someone else going sniper, counter sniping, or playing a spy, which leads us to today. Meet the Razorback. Oh wait, I already used that joke. Anyway, as is tradition here, let's talk about those weapon stats and see how it stacks up. Now, obviously, one of the main upsides with the Razorback is that you're able to shield one backstab. I mean, this lets you tunnel in more and not really have to pay attention to your surroundings. Okay, well, to a certain extent. Now, if this sounds good, there's one teeny tiny little downside. Alright, just some other stats about it. When the shield breaks, it takes a whole 30 seconds for it to regenerate. And also, you will unscope from your rifle and be able to counter the spy. All of this stuff has happened with me, and I still died. Here, take a look at this. Granted, it wasn't the same spy that killed me, but does it really matter? I still died to the spy. Thinking of it, using this weapon doesn't really stop spy from just using his gun to kill you. I mean, I've showed it to you before, but I love doing this to snipers. They think they're so smug and so cool for wearing a Razorback, but it doesn't stop spies from killing snipers. I would have footage, I just don't have it, because there's a way better way to deal with spies. Jurati, it is such a good secondary for sniper. It allows him to spy check, extinguish teammates and himself from fire, and give out mini crits. And not only this, but as I showed, Bushwaka Jurati combo is such a good way to deal with spies. And even the SMG is pretty good at taking them out. In this game, it's highly advised that you have some good situational awareness, or else you'll end up like those free to play heavies that push the cart and die the spies left and right. Just look around you, it's not that hard. There's a loud decloak sound. Listen out for that and learn how to kill the spies. Not only that, the secondary actively hinders you. The no overheal is such a big penalty to have. And for what? A spy that kills you they're gonna three shot you with their gun you're not saving yourself at all the only thing that you are countering is a year eternal reward spy and why is this because i did get a comment in the last weapon review saying it's not that bad let me just reinforce what i said there so as spy the deal with a razorback sniper you basically have one option shoot him with the Year Eternal Reward, it punishes you for getting rid of your disguise. So when you shoot the sniper and kill him, you run out of cloak. Unless if you're using the Latranger and get all your cloak back, you have to use it to disguise again. And then you don't have cloak to go ahead and go away. Which brings me to the only upsides that the Razorback really has. No face stabbing spies, and like I said earlier, a counter for Year Eternal Reward spies. Everything else, you are using it as the active hindrance. You lose out on a weapon, and you lose out on Jurati, and you lose out on your overheal for one backstab less. But if you just paid attention, you wouldn't deal with those backstabs in the first place. Which brings me into the fun of this weapon, which it's not fun. It's not fun to use, and it's not fun to go up against. Like, tell me all of those times where you got so excited that you blocked a backstab. Now, I'm gonna throw in this random clip of me hitting three kills with the Huntsman, because it was probably the most fun I had while wearing the Razorback, and it had nothing to do with it. I got Crazy Dave again with the Huntsman. <laughs> wow, what a pipe! Did you see uh that? <laughs> Now that is fun. Anyway, the Razorback overall, it's just not for me. Now, any of you Razorback main snipers, go down in the comments, tell me why I'm wrong. I really wanna gain some perspective, educate me, enlighten me as to why you use this weapon. As for everybody else, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm a YouTuber, so I gotta say that. I live stream on Sundays and Wednesdays, so be sure to hop on there, say hi. I'd be very appreciative if you showed up. Anyway, check out the previous weapon review and have a good one. Over and out, peace.